Hey everybody, I've got a new video that I'm going to be doing because I had a great question from John Griffiths and I wanted to show you guys how to do it. So what we're going to be talking about is marking up your contracts in case you wanted to redline something and then get new signatures and or initials. And as you can see, we are in one of our DocuSign rooms. And the way I'm going to this, you can see that I have a signed uh, or the signed one right here. Uh, and then I also have a couple signed ones. So I'm going to go into my envelopes and I'm going to create a new envelope. And I'm just going to call this new contract adjustments. And I'm going to pull from the room docs. Now instead of pulling a blank signature or a blank document in, I'm going to pull in a signed one. And I'm going to pull in my signed as is residential contract here. I'm going to add selected. And I'm going to add the recipient. And the recipient are going to be the parties that need to add the signatures in here. So I'm going to put click room participants. And we're just going to use myself for now. I'm going to add selected. Uh, but if you had more people that need to sign or put in signatures after or sign or put in initials, uh, it would be the same process. So I'm just going to use myself. I'm going to click next. And we're going to see that it looks just like an envelope where I would be editing something. This is very familiar. So, I mean, you see that it's already been signed or an, an initialed. Come on, load up. There we go. Gonna go to the bottom. Yep, so everything has been signed. Gonna go to where I'm gonna make my change, which is the purchase price. So to make that change, I'm going to go up to this pencil tool right here. It says Markup Tools, and I'm going to click Line, and see the little red line shows up? I'm going to start right here, and then pull across to the purchase price. Boom, it's redlined. Now I'm going to go back in my fields. I'm going to put an initial right next to it. I'm going to put it over here, actually. And let's say I'm going to put the text box in here, a new one for a new price. And I'll put that up here. And I will put in that price. Do a little one of these. And then I would send it. And it's going to be the exact same signing process as it would be for a regular uh, getting first signatures. So it was sent to my email. This needs my signature. Sign it. Oh, I'm going to click sign up here. Click continue. I'm going to initial. And I'm going to click Finish. So now that's been completed. And we'll see back in the documents. I'm going to have a signed, another signed one here for 5-22-20. And you see it has my red line, my corrections, and my signature next to it. Or not my signature, but my initials. All right, and that's how you do a markup. If you have any questions, just send me an email or a text message, and I'd be happy to help. See you later, guys.